Hi guys, this is Srinivas once again for you. Today, I am going to teach you assignment problem. In HR, we have some sort of assignment jobs and all those things. So, in this problem, how we are going to assign all the jobs to all the employees? So, this is the problem consists of the employees A, B, C, D and we have the task 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the first person can complete the first task in 2 hours and the same person can complete the, uh, the second task the task that is 10 hours and the third one is 9 hours and the fourth one is 7 hours in the same way for the employees ABC we have 4 tasks so for this problem first we have to check the number of employees is equal to the number of tasks or not otherwise we have to introduce a dummy row or a dummy column so for this reason so we are going to apply some sort of a 3 steps to solve this SM problem the first step is all of you that is row operation the first step is take the minimum element of each row and subtract from the remaining so that is in the first row we have the minimum element is 2 that is subtract from the remaining 2 minus 2 that is 0 10 minus 2 that is 8 9 minus 2 that is 7 7 minus 2 that is 5 in the second row we have the minimum element is 4 that is 15 minus 4 that is 11 again 4 minus 4 that is 0 14 minus 4 that is 10 and 8 minus 4 that is 4 again in the third row we have the minimum element is 11 separate from the remaining that is 13 minus 11 that is 2 14 minus 11 that is 3 and that is 16 minus 11 that is 5 and 11 minus 11 that is 0 clear in the third row we have the minimum element is 4 that is 4 minus 4 that is 0 15 minus 4 that is 11 that is again 13 minus 4 that is 9 and finally we have 9 minus 4 that is 5 this is all about the row operation that is take the minimum element of each row and subtract from the remaining this is all about the row operations now we are going to apply that is the step 2 that is the column operations that is the same tempo that is the, take the minimum element from the first column subtract from the remaining that is take the minimum element from the first one that is Luckily we got a 0, so obviously there is no changes whatsoever. That is 0, 11, that is 2 and 0. Take the minimum element from the second one, that is obviously 0, as usual, that is 8, 0, 3, 11. In the third one we have the minimum element is 5. Take the minimum element and subtract from the remaining, that is 7 minus 5, that is 2. 10 minus 5, that is again 5. 5 minus 5 that is 0 and 5 so that is 9 minus 5 that is 4 in the third one that is we have a 0 so there is no changes whatsoever that is 5, 4, 0 and 5 so step 2 is over then we have the final step that is assignment operation so that is assignment operation assignment operations this is all about it's not at all necessary for us so from this column operations only we are going to assign the operation so as usual I am representing the same data 0, 8, 2, 5 11, 0 5, 4 2, 3 0, 0 and finally we have 0, 11 for fun. So for this assignment operation, we have a, some sort of a notations. First, we have the assign. This is our the assignment symbol with the single zero row. That is single. Okay, single zero row, and then single zero column. Now a single zero row. So in this obviously we have a single zero row here. So I am going to assign this job. What it means we have employees A, B, C, D. And we have the task 1, 2, 3, 4. 
isn't it? So we are going to assign the job to that is the first job to the first candidate. Means the first job will not be allotted to any other person. So that is this should be zero. This should be crossed off. So that is the single zero is over. Then we will want a single zero column. The single zero column we have this. The single zero column. I am going to assign this. So there is no zeros whatsoever. And then again we will want a single zero row. We have a single. We don't have a single zero here. Again we will want a single zero column. We have a single zero column like this. And this will be zero. So obviously we have three assignments. So that is A is assigned to the first class, B is assigned to the second one, and C is assigned to the third one. But here the number of assignments are not equal to the order of the match. So simply we assign only three jobs to the three candidates, and one candidate is left out. Further reason we will move on to the Hungarian method of assignment. Okay, of you. So in this case we assign three jobs to the three employees. If in this case if four uh, assignments are uh, so occurred, so obviously the the solution is an optimum. But not in this case. Now we are going to apply the Hungarian method of assignment. So in this we have to follow some sort of a procedure that is take a mark to unassigned row in the cross zero column in the assigned row. So we have a what's up here? That is take a mark to unassigned row. So that is unassigned row. So the first row is assigned, the second row is assigned, the third row is assigned, but not in case of the fourth row. That is take a we have to take a mark to unassigned row. That is the the unassigned row is this one. The first row is over. In the cross zero column, in the so in this. Tick mark. In this, the cross is zero column. We have a cross here, so we have to put a tick mark to the column. Clear? So, an assigned row in that cross is zero column. Again, in that assigned row, in that assignment is here. That is in the assigned row. Clear? That is an assigned row in the cross is zero column. In that again, assigned row. Okay. That is. For Hungarian method, we have some sort of a procedure. That is, draw lines to. That is, unmarked rows. And marked columns. That is, unmarked rows. So that is, unmarked rows are the second row and the third row. That is. The unmarked rows are these two. In this again, the marked that is marked column. These are the marked column. So after this, take the minimum element of the remaining, subtract from the remaining, and add to the junctions. So the minimum element from eight to five, eleven four five is obviously two. We have to add to the junctions these two and subtract from the remaining. This is the procedure. That is, we have. Zero as usual. Eight minus two, that is six. Two minus two, that is zero. Five minus eight, that, sorry, five minus two, that is three. This all put the junction. Eleven plus two, that is thirteen. Zero, five, and four as usual. Two plus two, that is four. Three, zero. And again zero, and finally this is all about zero. Subtract from the remaining that is eleven minus two that is nine. Four minus two that is two, and five minus two that is three. This is all about we have the employees A, B, C, D, and the tasks one, two, three, and four. Again, we have to repeat the same thing. That is single zero row. We have to assign here. That is a single zero row. We have two zeros. We have a single zero here. So that is I am going to assign this a single zero row. We don't have any sort of zeros here to cross. So for uh, the next one, that is single zero column. We have two zeros here. Again, we have two zeros here. In this, we have a single zero. That is single zero column. This one I am going to cut this. And again, the single zero row. Here we have two zeros. A single zero, this one. I'm going to assign this. I'm going to cut this, and a single zero column, that is this. One. 
So what it means all of you? I am going to assign uh, the third job to the first employee that is A. For the second employee, I am going to assign the second task. For the third employee, I am going to assign the fourth job. And the last employee, I am going to assign the first job. And hence, the optimum solution is obtained. So, the final table we have to represent, that is, for this, we have the employees, that is, employees, we have a task, we have employees A, B, C, D, we have a task, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, that is, the first employee, that is A to the third task, the second one that is 2 and for the third one that is 4 and finally for the last one we are going to assign the first one. So that is here in the question we got the number of hours for the task 3 that is 9 for this we have 4 for this we have 11 plus 4 that is all of you 11 plus 9 is 20 plus 4 24 plus 4 that is 28 hours so all of you we are going to complete the task in 28 hours and all the employees are getting all the jobs and also the tasks are completed thanks a lot for watching this video thank you